This is Josh Placer from GameWisdom.com. In this spotlight video, I am looking at The Swindle, a steampunk cybercrime caper. Whew. This is developed by Size 5 Games. By the time you are watching this, either live or recorded, the game should be out and available. And I've been getting into this and really enjoying it. It's a different take on both roguelike and procedurally generated design. And we're going to play some of it tonight. One second here. Alright, that looks good. Anyway, let's get into it. I want to start a new game because I kind of screwed up, which we'll be talking about in a few minutes. Lovely visual stack of the game, by the way. So, here's the story. I'll let you guys read that while I take a sip of some OJ. Alright, so that's our mission. We need to break into Scotland Yard and steal an advanced surveillance system. Surveillance? Ah, sorry about that. And we have a hundred days to do that. So you basically play the owner of this uh, thieving guild in steampunk era London. And as we all know, steampunk is a very lovely setting to do all kinds of crazy things in. So, here is our Zeppelin, where we're going to plan our heist from. Over here we have our clock. We have 100 days or 100 heists before we have to steal the Basilisk. If we don't do it in that time, basically we lose. Over here we have a workbench. This is where the progression model of the game comes in. You can see on the left there is my guy's name, Henry Bursford. And you spend money on these five areas. And this is the main form of progression in the game. In order to get better, you need to spend your money. This will unlock new things, which will allow you to spend more and more and more and so on. The big one is right here, security clearance. This will unlock new areas for you to steal from, which in turn will allow you to do harder things, which will get you more money, which will let you upgrade more. Basically, this is the way the game is tiering the progression around money and your own skill. You're only going to be able to see the better stuff is if you steal enough to get more money, and to get more money, you need to be good at the game. So we're going to go in here. As you can see, we have six areas that we can go through. The harder the area, the more dangerous it's going to be. But for right now, we can only go into the slums. Alright. And we basically get launched out into a from a capsule from the Zeppelin to the area. So let's do it. There's our capsule. Controls are pretty simple. You can jump, tiptoe, and you have your weapon here. You can see me swinging it like so. The levels in the swindle are procedurally generated. And that is actually a big part of the game's difficulty, which we'll probably see tonight. As you can see, I can wall jump. Now, if I fall from too high of a distance, I will die, so I have to be careful. We have steampunk guards here. You can knock them out. Your main source of money is going to be to hack. But unfortunately, I don't have the money to hack yet. So we need to come back. So instead, we need to basically get our money from what's lying on the ground. The game is on the challenging side. One hit's going to kill you, and once someone sees you, the alarms will go off. In that case, the computers will start to lose their money, and if you stay too long, basically Sky's Yard will show up with steam-powered robots and drones and whatnot and will kill you. So you have to move quickly. But for right now, I need to collect at least a hundred pounds. And of course, not get caught by this guy. Bam. Now as you can see right here, I can't... Oh wait, I just squeaked up there. Alright, $96, I'm just four short. 
there any more money here? And again, this level is completely generated from scratch. And it's going to be that way for every level in the game. Alright, so there's no more money, which unfortunately means I can't get the first upgrade that I really need. So we need to get out. If you are killed before you take your money, you will lose it. At least with your hull. Your bank is safe. You just have to get back to your capsule to deposit. Okay. Now the heist is not considered successful because I didn't take enough money. The m more times you complete a heist successfully, it will raise your level up with that character, which will mean you'll get a bonus money for as long as you can keep him alive. All right. Since we didn't get enough to hit the 100, I need to do another one. Alright, so we are back in the slums again. As you can see, the map has been changed. Okay, we got enough for what I need, but we need to, we might as well get as much money as we can. Okay, come on, get up there. Knock him out. And as things go on, these levels are going to become more and more dangerous. Okay, I can't do anything there, unfortunately. I also have to be careful. Because of the procedurally generated nature of the game, you may end up in an unwinnable situation. Such as you won't be able to get back to the escape point and you'll have to suicide. So you have to be very careful with how you're approaching things, at least for right now. It's kind of the double-edged sword of the game's design. It's because everything is procedurally generated, it means that things are going to be harder or easier and you have no real control over it. So right now I pretty much can't do anything else in this level, so we have to head out. This kind of progression model reminds me a lot of the clicker genre as well, with how first you start with just earning a few bucks here and there, and we're going to get to more money and more and more and more. So with that, I have enough money to upgrade. So the first thing I want to do is get this hack going. Oh, come on. $100 right there. So with that hundred dollars, I can now begin to hack computers and get more money. This will be my first step into, into basically getting things more and more. Now, as you can see over there, we've already done two heists, we have 98 days left. If you die, you'll basically restart with another thief, so it's not like you're going to have to start from scratch. But again, the game's hundred day time limit is essentially what you need to keep an eye on. You can see the yellow sort of flashlight is the robot's detection radius. As long as I stay out of that, I'll be safe. Get caught in it, and I'll be in deep trouble. All right. We can now get to use a computer, which will earn us some decent money. We just need to find it. And while these guys will go down one hit, other guys will take more damage and some are indestructible. So here's a bit of the procedural generating nature. There's definitely a computer in this level, but I cannot access it. It's probably below or behind some walls, which I would need to use a bomb to get through. But unfortunately, I don't have those upgrades left yet. And because of that, this level is pretty much over. I literally can't do anything else. And that may annoy some people by the fact that you are kind of left to the mercy of the level design in order to make any real progression. So I have no choice. I have to go back in. Here we go. I just want to check the stream, make sure you guys are able to see everything. Yeah, there we go. Good. Hopefully we can get a computer. Oh, we have a camera now, so I have to be very careful of that. Cameras take two hits, and there's a deadly spike pit. If I hit that, I am in trouble. There we go. One hit to stun, one, and then a second to kill. Alright, there's our computer. I just have to take out these evil robot guards. Nope, don't let them see me. Come on. 
area. With a hacking computer, you hold down the button, you just gotta perform the commands. If I take too long, I believe I sell the alarms. And with the alarm is sounded, the computers will start draining money. Basically, it's a way to force you to keep going. Look, don't want to hit those spikes. As you can see, we just earned $800 there about from that one computer. That's really nice, and that's going to set us up for some more progression. But of course, we're thieves. We need to go for more and more money. Oh, I almost got hit there. Take you out. We need to find as much money as we can get. Oh, nothing there. That's all the money that I can reach, so we're going to get out here now. The next upgrade that I can afford, I believe, is 2,000 pounds, and that's going to be either the double jump or the bomb. I think I need 5,000 or 10,000 to unlock the first security upgrade. Okay, as you can see, I completed the heist, and that, that means I'm going to get an experience bonus, which means I'll get more money from each successful heist. As long as I stay with this character. If he dies and I start over, I lose the experience bonus. Let's see, I have one heist successful. Oh no, you don't. You can close the door. Oh, and you can see there's some new guards now. Wow, that's very bad. The guards on the wheels move a lot slower, but their detection radius is a lot longer than these little guys. Got him. I got him. Hopefully we can get around here. Because again, I only can take one hit and then I'm dead. Okay, got you. And when you wall jump, you go a, f a lot higher than you would with a regular leap. Whoa, 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 don't want to go there. Alright, so to get up there, I can do a little trick like that. Again, I love, like, the... I guess that's what we consider a storybook like this, that... Okay, I believe I can still make it from here. Okay, there's no real... Oh, God, oh, I thought I died. There's no reward for killing the guard, so... You can pretty much just move through at your own pace. As long as I don't sell the alarms, I can go... There's no time limit, either. Them to turn around. Okay. Take you out. Alright, so this would be... This, that's not a good place to attempt, so we're just going to ignore that. And we need to go for the big bucks. And I can't upgrade my hacking ability so that I can do this quicker. Alright. We got the computer. That's our main source of money. So we need to get out. Hopefully. Oh god. Uh oh. Whew. It can be a little finicky there sometimes. Okay. And we're back up to the airship. You can see we've earned even more money from that. And I think we have enough for an upgrade. Okay. Bomb is 5,000, so I can't do that. Next security is 4,000, so we're not quite there. And... Oh. This is a little finicky sometimes, I've noticed. Okay, 10,000. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go for double jump. This will allow me to get around things a lot easier and lessens the chance I get stuck in an unwinnable state. As you can see, we have a little steam-powered double jump now. And you can also enhance that with a triple and I think even a quadruple. Okay. That is a little dangerous. I'm not sure if I can make that leap. Okay, 
I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I did it. Oh boy, lots of guys down there. Let's head up. Next thing I want to upgrade would probably be security clearance or get the bombs. Okay, nothing over there. Question is, do I keep going or do I get out? Uh, don't want to really go down this way. Come on, get up there, you. We gotta get out of here. The longer I stay here, the more dangerous it's gonna get. Gotta run, gotta run. Poor Scotland, Law Scotland Yard gets get him. There we go. Whew. Got some more money from that. We're at 1100. We're not quite there for some good stuff, unfortunately. Oh, now we have mines. You can hack them, or just run past them and let them explode. It's up to you, really. I don't know what happens if the mine explodes and there's a guard nearby, though. There you go. Whew. Oh, don't, don't see me there, buddy. Take that. There's our computer. Ooh, that's some spikes down there. Okay, I think we can make that using... That's why I got the double jump. You really want to get that as one of your first upgrades. Just lets you be a lot more mobile. Okay. Hold on, guys. Nothing else down there. So now we just need to get out. Come on, hit it. Like I said, uh oh. Are we stuck? Whew. Our friend lives another day. Alright, I'll hack this one for you so you can see how it goes. Oh, did it get me? Oh, it got my foot. Damn. Oh, he's dead. But don't worry, there's plenty more heisters there. Alright, we're at Lafayette Robin now. And your heisters will keep all your upgrades, just that you lose the experience bonus. Whoa, 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 whoa. really need to get that 200. I'm sorry, 2,000. Okay. There's a ramp. 
brain again. See what happens. Okay, our money is draining. Get out of my way. Oh, I blew up the computer. Oopsie. Okay, now we really have to get out of here. Go, 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 go. knock me out there. You can see this can be a very tricky game to play. Oh, I can't believe that happened. That's why they gave you 100 days, by the way, because you're going to just keep dying. Damn hammer. There's a computer up there. There's another computer down here, that's good. Oh. Okay, two computers means double the money. Upgrade for the hacking soon, too. Alright, just two guards. Good one to lose. All right, well, Christopher Newton's the third. Come on, Christopher, you can do it. I believe in you.
Oh, there's a computer over there. Yeah, maybe there's uh, sound-based challenges later on. Right. That should be considered successful. Yep. Alright, with 34, what can I buy? Movement speed is 15,000. Yeah, I can't afford that. Hmm. Can't do that just yet. Speed. Police strength. Can I afford bombs yet? No. Definitely not there. And this still needs... Alright, so one more successful heist will get me the 4,000 I need to upgrade, and we'll get to the next area. And you'll see things will get even more dangerous there. Oh, now you can see we have a security camera. And I cannot destroy those either, or at least not of this basic set. Okay, oh my goodness, this is a very dangerous area. Fortunately, I can get in through the back way. Alright, camera, you think you're so tough? Okay. okay that guy's turned way too fast for me to close in on him. But I did get the money I need to upgrade, so we may just leave. Because that looks very dangerous to explore. Okay. There we go. Area 1 unlocked. So now you're going to see things are going to get a lot more challenging. Here. We're heading to the warehouse district. The money's going to get a lot more lucrative, which means we'll be able to get these upgrades a lot quicker. So the first thing, we have a locked door. There's a gentleman like centipede down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't want to go there. Now the good thing about the centipede is that he can't hurt you as long as you don't jump. If you jump, you'll land on his knives and such, and he'll kill you. Like that, so don't jump at him, like I just did, like an idiot. And that is a camera with a Gatling going on. Okay, don't jump, don't jump. Oh god, there's a cam there's a security camera in here, not good. This could be very bad. Can't get in that way, the door is locked. Okay. I can't do anything in here. It's just too... if I jump over... Maybe... I don't want to risk the guy, at least right now. I think we're just going to have to chalk this up as a goose egg. 
<laughs> that was a good heist, right, folks? Okay, I need to upgrade the security feature. I could really do with quicker hacks. Alright, you can see we just earned a whole lot more money. Now that little hopping guy is actually a hopping mine. If I let him hit me, I am dead. There's a security room. I can use that to disable the cameras. If I level myself up to that point. You can see there is a computer down there, but I can't get there without having access to bombs. Okay. Oh, get away from me. At least we got money this time. this guy so I don't risk setting him off on the way back. Boom. See the design's a little different now because we're in a new area. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? That was far enough to kill me? Really? Damn. Wow, I got myself killed so quickly there. Alright. Oh, you can see a new guard down there. That guy takes like three hits. At least from my normal attack. Should be able to avoid him. Oh crap, he saw me. Crap, 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 crap. Give me money. Alright, I think I'll let this run so you can see what happens when the police come and get you. Ow, 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 ow. Move, move, move. Oh no, I can't get in this way. There is an upgrade you can get that will also make you more resilient to fall damage. Ugh. One percent of the cash stolen. Again, this is the double-edged sword of this kind of procedurally generated design, so you really are left at the mercy of what the game generates. If you don't get a good level, you're just not going to make that much progression. Get really lucky, and the sky's the limit. Okay. There's that mine. I mean, look at this. The computer is trapped in there. I have no way of getting in there to, to get to it. Maybe we can get money this way? Minus just right. No! Ah, damn, I landed right on. Oh my goodness, I thought this was going to be a better play than before. We are just not having luck here. Okay, oh, we have a security guard there. There's the camera room. Oh god. There's the computer. Come on, we gotta get it. Okay, that guy's dead. Maybe I can set the mine off and cause it to take him out. 
Ah, crap. Alright. I took him out. Those things will charge you, they spot you. Try one more. If it, we don't get luck, we may go back to the first here just so I can get the upgrade. If I can get the hack door ability, that may help things out. Oh, good, finally. Okay. Oh, wow, the windows are barricaded. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't even get in there. Ugh. It just sucks. Okay. There's our gentleman... Whatever the hell you want to call that. Alright, I can knock him out. Okay. I can also knock that guy into the spikes, possibly. Oh! Haha. Uh -huh. oh, that is just torture. Uh oh, dog. Police are here. If I wait too long, they're gonna send in the drones. Excuse me, for me. I need 5,000 for the bombs. In order to get hack 2, I need 5,000 for that too. Hmm. Let's head back to level 0 for a little bit. Ability or the bomb ability? Give me the bomb. That may unlock more ways for us down the line. That you. one okay, well this is all well and good we still need computer all right uh oh there's a camera here down to mission impossible this. Yeah, I can't break it. Okay.
Well, that was a success final after all those failures. Whew. Okay, 23. Once I hit that 5,000 mark, I'll be able to at least afford one of the upgrades. I think I'm gonna get the bombs this time. Because I haven't used them before. And we could probably use... Oh, crap, not more of these damn cameras. Okay. No, no, no. There's a whole lot of guys down there, look at them all. Okay. Just avoid these guys. Oh. Bell cells with time in this? Huh. Apparently. Alright. While I'm going through this, I got a question from the Twitch chat. AC Wrath is wondering about the metagame. Uh, the metagame from Swindle, from what I've played so far, it's definitely about uh, getting the money and really. It's pretty much that kind of progression model. You get more money to get more stuff to let you get more money to let you get, obviously, more things. Uh-oh. Am I stuck up here? No, I can go the other way. It's all right from what I've seen. It is a bit... Oh, crap. It's definitely predominantly skill and luck based. You really need to be know what you're doing in order to get the money. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Or do something stupid like that. We gotta get out of here. But again, you are sort of held to the fact that all the levels are procedurally generated. So if you get a very poor string of levels like I did, you won't be able to get a lot of money and you're gonna run out of days. Because you have this set time limit of 100 days or 100 plays. If you don't steal the final heist by then, you're gonna lose. See the computer down there? Uh, 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 come on. Can I get them both? Oh, yeah, there you go. Aha. Oh, two computers, good. Just what we need. As long as I don't do something stupid. I've fallen to these spikes before by accident. Well, get down here so I can knock you out. Alright. Down. Down. Nice. Eight hundred dollars. Good. There's a third computer here I'll be set. I'll take me to about thirty no forty seven. Again, we just gotta hit that five thousand dollar threshold, or pound. I won't be confusing those two, I think, for the remainder of these videos.
But despite the frustration of poor luck, I am liking the swindle. I'm just wondering though, is there enough here to keep playing this game after you've completed the heist? Like, is there going to be a popular enough New Game Plus mode? Because the upgrades so far from what I've seen are pretty much required elements. You're not going to get through this without getting the upgrades to the door locks, or increased hacking, and of course the whole progression of unlocking new areas. Some of the stuff like having more bombs, I could see those. Okay, so one more heist, then we'll get the bombs. And hopefully that'll be enough to get some real money back in the second area. Okay. There's that. Okay, there's a computer. And that is a camera. Now you also don't have to hold the button for them to grip. You just press down to let go. Okay. This is going to be very dangerous. Oh, God, I can't believe I did that. some Mission Impossible stuff there. I don't like that camera getting really close to me. I have no idea how we're going to get out of here, though. Okay, this will give me the upgrade. Okay, that camera is watching us. That's enough for... Oh, we got some decent upgrade there. Okay, so let's go... Okay, so that upgrades the bomb. This increases the blast radius, speed... Apparently cover. Bugs placed near will continually siphon funds. Huh. That's actually really nice, but it costs a whole lot of money. Okay. okay. Now we got some weapons. Hopefully we can use them back in the warehouse. Okay, hold right trigger and select your bombs, press B to begin rigging, okay, we got bombs now, let's see. Well, that's how bombs work. see a whole lot of money we're going to get from this computer. There we go, 2700 Alright. Keep going to the left. Whoa. die that quickly. So, with that amount of money we got, one more heist with a computer, and I'll be able to afford to get the second level of the lock picking. 
Okay, I'm going to turn around. Is that a computer? No, it's a security area. Got some free money. But that is a computer. There we go. Okay, got the money. I think we better get out of here before I die. I like the style of graphics, yeah, again, it looks really stylistic. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Alright. Seven thousand. Okay, that will let me unlock open doors. Ten thousand lets me do that. So let's get that. I think that's the only five thousand dollar one left. Yeah, these are all ten. Oh wait, here's one. That will delay the response of the police. That could be useful. We tend to get a triple jump and a quadruple jump. Faster speed, wall jumping. Okay, so with that upgrade, I can now hack open those annoying doors instead of just uh, having to go around. So right here. So this is a whole lot easier. So you can see the progression of the game is really about giving you new tools and making your already unlocked tools better. Uh. Uh. I wonder. That worked. Oh. I still need another. I cannot jump, or I'll land on that thing and it will kill me. Okay, so the exit's on this side, so on the left. I do think it'll be interesting to have more things for you to steal other than just the money and the computers. But then again, I'm only on level one of the game. Oh. It may be good to unlock the hacking of the camera rooms. That may make life a lot easier. Lagger bicycles? Okay. Well, not as good as all as last time, but we'll get a bonus for the experience. Okay, 56. Can I get a quicker hacking? Let me see. Okay, that's security stage, I need 20,000. There you go, I can enhance the hack speed. 
Yeah, might as well. Alright, so now when you see me do the hacking, it's going to go by a lot quicker. We have 76 days. So the early parts of the swindle are a bit on the slow side. You're just trying to get enough tools in order to progress. But I assume there's going to hit that point where you'll get everything that you need. And then you'll earn a lot of money very quickly. So you can see how quickly the hack is going now. I see money in there if I can go the other route. So we may have to try this way. Oh, I have to hack. So that camera's watching me. I can't do anything. I could drop a bomb though. Jump! Oh god, I almost fell on that thing. Alright, well the five successful heist, that's not bad. But until I hit 10,000, I can't do anything else. See how terrible these guys are. That's one hit. not kill me. Okay. Hmm. What if I can drop the camera? Oh, I can blow him up. And there is an upgrade that will let you, like, pan the camera up and down, too. Okay, 20... or 18,000... 1,800 left. I'm not sure what I'll get. I can get the... Increase money from computers that may help in the long run.
Mr. Security Room. Okay, so I can actually hit him from the back again. I thought they'd turn around right away. Okay, that's good. That makes things a lot easier. Alright. So this is an example of having different routes based on your skills. If I just had the bombs, I could blow this up. If I pick the locks, I can go down that way. I wasn't gonna break for a second. Oh crap. Alright, we gotta get out of here now. Time to run, folks. Okay, that'll make it go by quicker. I'm not sure what these upgrades do yet, actually. I guess it just gives you, like, minimap functionality. Oh, it tells you how much money is left. Not bad, I guess. Okay, but in order to get to the next area, I need 25. We're not quite ready for that. Okay, let's see. Police strength. Why not I? Huh. Teleporter. Maybe I'll get that Molise strength upgrade. It'll make things a little easier. Alright, she's still going strong. Okay, these guys I'm not worried about. Now that thing's in the spike pit, it's gonna die. Okay. Woo! Wasn't sure that was gonna work, actually. Okay, we have a camera there, but I have better hacking. gonna blow the store. <laughs> right. This little exploding toaster guy has gotta die. Place a bomb up there to deal with the camera, but then I risk blowing up the computer. Okay. Wait for it. And this is why increased hacking pays off. Okay. So many dead bodies. Or mechanical advice, that is. Alright, we 
cleared most of the area. I would say the game has a good, like, one more day type feel to our one more play. That is a second computer, which we are still gonna go for. Gotta be careful that camera. see just how quickly we are back up to almost 10 grand, simply by virtue of the upgrades. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think getting the security camera lock may be the way to go. It'll certainly make things a lot simpler. Okay, we're at just over an hour play. We'll do a few more. I may play a little bit more after this video is done for those of you watching live. But we'll see how things go. Okay. Okay. These will pack more punch. I assume this will make it easier to kill those guys. Anything else at 10,000? Wait. Oh no, I've got that one. Smoke bomb. Hmm, maybe I'll get the... Let's see. Not that one. I look at these computers. Hmm. I'm just gonna save the money so I can get 20,000. That will let me get more money from hacking. Maybe that will even unlock the next tier. Oh, what's this? Oh, hold Y while we're running the doors. <laughs> well, that'll make things a little easier. Alright, he is dead. Okay. When he tries to hop out, he'll lay around the knives. That looks a little risky. Computer, computer, where are you, computer? Oh crap. Oh, whew. Oh, I thought I was dead there. Alright, I think we'll just have to make our own way in. Where's the computer, though? It's gotta be down here somewhere. Alright, so this is definitely an area we can use the computer for. I mean, the bomb. Security room doesn't like you blowing these bombs up into it. Haha, <laughs> take that. Whoa. Uh, we're going. Let's go for broke. Uh, 
go, 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 go. Oh crap. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Woo! I thought I was gonna lose there. Hmm. What's the next goal? So pretty much your main progression is, of course, unlocking these areas. So that's pretty much what takes precedence. So I need 25,000 in order to unlock that. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Maybe getting that will make life a lot easier. Alright. I think that would probably be actually a good place to stop the video. We'll unlock the security room uh, hack and see what that does. And see what happens. I can't break into these doors. Trying to keep her alive, because you can see we're getting a 1.4% bonus or multiplier to our funds. I'm not sure what the ghost bonus is for. I think that's if you get through without breaking or destroying anything. Alright, so with the 20k, I could unlock level 2 of hack, but I think I want to make this a lot easier. Well, let's use reactivate. Eh, we don't need to do that. Alright. Let's see what happens now that we can mess with the security stations. Of course, now with luck, you won't actually get to find. Oh no, you don't. There's the security room, it's over here. Just in case, we'll hack into this. And if you miss the hack up here, the mine will detonate, so you have to be careful. Oh crap. Oh good. <laughs> Take that security guard. Let's see. Alright, so what happened? Oh cool, all the drones. Well, that's really nice. Everything's been turned off. Wow. That certainly makes things a lot easier. Okay, so we have 10,000. 
Oh, right, and we have 69 days left. So I think with that, I'm going to wrap it up for this video of the Swindle. I think I've shown you guys enough to get a good read on what the game is. As you can see, it's really based on this skill-based progression of the better you are getting money, the more you're able to get, which will unlock more content, and so on. As I said in the video, my main concern, though, is just how replayable the game is. And as you can see, how much luck really has a factor in deciding just how well you'll be able to get far. Because you saw I ran into a lot of unlucky situations early on, and had to repeat things quite constantly. But I'm definitely enjoying the game. Look forward to a review, or I'm sorry, a written review, probably real soon. So for those of you watching this live, I think I'm going to take a quick break and play a little bit more of it. For those of you who've been enjoying this on YouTube, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. And check out game-wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design industry, as well as our ongoing Patreon campaign to secure some much-needed monthly funding to keep all this running. You can find me on Patreon under Josh Spice through our Game Wisdom, and any donation would be greatly appreciated. And for the YouTube crowd, if you'd like to watch these videos live, plus just general daily streams, which I'll be doing more of, you can find me on Twitch under GW Bicer. Anyway, for those of you watching this recorded, that's it for this video. Those of you watching live, just hang on for like two minutes. I'm going to be playing a little bit more of the game for tonight. Anyway, take care.